mommy and daddy have done everything they can to take care of you. The doctors have to do stuff now and you have to do stuff. And they're going to give you things that are not going to make you feel good. And they're going to be asking you to do things that are not going to be fun and easy. But right now we need you to do that. And we need you to fight. I noticed some bruising on Gia. It was the summertime. It wasn't anything out of the ordinary, but it was getting to be more excessive. So the next morning, called the pediatrician, got her in, it was nine o'clock. Under the microscope, Gia's bone marrow is showing nothing. And that is aplastic anemia. And everything stopped. Your body's composed of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Your body makes them. Her body stopped. She had nothing to protect herself against infection, disease, colds, the simple stuff that we don't think about. For Gia, the first things that she was needing the most were platelets. Gia received 16 platelet transfusions and eight whole blood cell transfusions. She would be pale and her lips would be just light and she would get it and it's her color comes back. It makes them alive. And it was just kind of a maintenance and then Gia got a fever. And at that point, he said, you're here until we do a bone marrow transplant. Gia had common blood typing, which is good for her. We're very lucky that she had that. And matches were pulled, and it was a very quick process. With bone marrow transplant, there's a week called conditioning. And it's basically one week of conditioning your body to prepare it for transplant. She received three or four different types of chemo over a five-day period, and it's hard. I mean, the nurses walk in with their full garb and a nice, beautiful bag that's wrapped in brown with a skull and crossbones, and it says toxic. And you're watching that go into your child's body, and there's nothing you can do to change that. We just told her we needed you to fight, and we need you to understand that this isn't going to last, and you're going to feel better one day, but right now it's going to get worse before it gets better, but we're doing it to help you. She said, okay, I can do that. Her transplant was August 22nd, 2017. So that morning was a big, a big to do for us. It was her rebirth day. She was all excited and they bring this bag of 12 million cells in from a perfect stranger. That was a one hour of just watching these cells drip into her body and basically praying that it's gonna work. That's it, you wait. September 13th, 2017, after 57 days in the hospital, and she walked out. We didn't tell anyone, and we didn't tell Jude, and he was in school. That face, that excitement, he's like, you're home, Gia, you're home, and he gave her the biggest hug. Finally! <laughs> she is considered cured of aplastic anemia. She's in kindergarten. She's normal, but we still are protective. I've been exposed to the importance of blood donation, but you never think it's going to be you or your child who needs that. And it's an hour, two hours of your time, but it means so much to the people who receive it. And it's the difference between life and death. And if that's a way you can give back, do it. It's a gift and it's a beautiful gift. I want her to be happy. I want her to understand how strong she is. I know she can do anything.